to see if we have a local marketplace, what we did was we, we examined a recent Gallup poll that looked at adult um, drinking trends, and we compared it against the, um, the recent census statistics for the Hickory Metropolitan Statistical Area. And what we found is that currently there are over 3,000 craft beer enthusiasts in our community. And even more compelling, by the end of the decade, based on industry growth projections, that should be over 12,000 craft beer aficionados. So we think that's pretty strong evidence of a viable marketplace in our community. And how we're going to serve this marketplace is we're going to have a niche retail store that's going to feature over 250 craft beer selection. And we're going to rotate this selection so there's something always new and fresh. This is going to help us drive demand with our customers, but at the same time, it's also going to help our inventory terms which is one of those key retail metrics that's going to help us out. Um, our product mix is going to focus primarily on North Carolina craft beers, but we are going to supplement our product mix with some national craft beers, some imports, some gluten free, and some organic beers. Um, we're going to offer a lot of diversity in how you can actually purchase your beer. We're going to have a huge selection of mix and match, which is really good for the consumer because you can create your own six pack and sample a lot of different styles with one little six pack. If you're a traditionalist, you can get your you know, traditional prepackaged six pack or your, um, your case. We're also going to offer cakes um, for those people who have their man caves and their home keg raiders. Now, beyond beer, we are also going to offer a limited selection of wine, mostly North Carolina wineries, gourmet snacks, and accessories to complement our beer selection. Now, we don't want to be just a place where people come in and they pick up product off the shelf and they check up. We're really going to focus on creating a craft beer experience. And our first and foremost, we're going to do this by hiring people who are passionate and care about beer and they're knowledge, knowledgeable about it. Then we're going to combine them, that with a lot of beer events. We're going to have weekly product introductions, so there's always going to be something exciting going on in the store, frequent beer tastings, we're going to organize brewery tours and have seasonal events. And we're also, we think it's important for us to not just have a really cool business model, but also to be responsible corporate citizens. And we're going to do this with an emphasis on green retailing. For example, we're going to ask our consumers to bring their bottles back to us. We're going to convert those bottles into unique tasting glasses. It's cool for us, it's cool for them, and best of all, it's cool for the environment. Now, the current marketplace is mostly being served by um, grocery stores, convenience stores, and wine shops. And we, okay, and there are two key variables for success in the craft beer market, and that's a wide selection and robust beer um, knowledge. So we think that we're well positioned to tap into that industry. So I want to thank you all for being here once again, and I hope that when the shop's open, up and running, you guys will come and have a beer with me. Thank you. You learn all those presentation skills and leadership to talk about the <laughs> Thank you, Valerie. And last, but definitely not least, we have Mr. Peter Lord of the Advanced Hydrogen Technologies Corporation.
my hydrogen producing cartridge discovery solves the previous limitations of hydrogen use. This plastic cartridge is uh, made up of very simple components, which is a uh, ignition compound, aluminum, and water. This cartridge is capable of producing over 100,000 pounds per square inch of hydrogen pressure, which, if you translate that, it's 12 times the energy of TNT for the same weight without any explosives in it. To support the uh, country's uh, desire to move away from the dependency of foreign oil, green op options such as hybrids and uh, electric cars have become more popular. The hydrogen power, this hydrogen power solution can make that a reality. This is basically how it works. A magazine like this holds 100 cartridges. The magazine would simply snap into the delivery system. Once activated, a cartridge would transfer into the firing chamber where it would receive a signal from a 9 volt battery. The hydrogen blast from the cartridge is then sent to the turbine flywheel where it starts to spin. The significance of this turbine flywheel is that it stores the energy from the cartridge, which allows you to tap into it on an as needed basis as opposed to when you're sitting at a stoplight or sitting in stop and go traffic, your car is burning gas all the time. When the turbine flywheel starts to slow down, another cartridge is activated, continuing the cycle. It's more of the advantages of our hydrogen propulsion system is that it is environmentally friendly. There are no oil products used in any part of this procedure. And the only emissions is water vapor. The uh, hydrogen propulsion system is also very safe. The cartridge contains no flammable materials. This makes it safe to transport, store, and handle. So if you were in a car accident, for example, this cannot catch on fire like gasoline would. <coughs> Without being in the confinement of the delivery system, this cartridge cannot produce any energy whatsoever. Um, after the cartridge is activated, the only byproduct is aluminum oxide. Aluminum oxide can be recycled and reused, therefore making this cartridge 100% recyclable. The aluminum, uh, incidentally, aluminum is also the most abundant metal on the planet. One minute. Since we are in our early stages, we can only est estimate how much energy from a cartridge will move a vehicle. However, with the greater efficiency and the simplicity of our system, it is estimated that one cartridge will push a vehicle as far as a ga gallon of gasoline will. With gasoline approaching $4 a gallon, this cartridge will only be about $2. HTC, with HTC technology, we now offer a viable, oil-free, cost-effective alternative, solving the previous limitations of hydrogen for vehicle propulsion. Our team of supporters we're all very excited about taking the next step in making this technology a reality. Thank you. I would advise you not to get very close to Pete. Remember what he said, this is 12,000 times the power of dynamite. Be careful, I'll set this up here. <laughs> Thank you, entrepreneurs. Now, the folks, many of them are here, Tom, uh, Tony, uh, that worked over the last several months with these folks. And I know they worked hard. But your job is even harder. Your job is to pick one. Looking again at your criteria on the front of your ballot and using that criteria as a benchmark, select which of these eight presenters did the best job 
and convincing you that this is going to be a successful enterprise. I know you'd love to check several, so would I. And then, if you would, if you would pass them to the middle of the aisle, and we're going to gather those from you. Put an X next to the name. Just an X or a check mark, either one. Just an X or a check mark in the blank space, just to the left of their name. Yes, thank you, Peter. And then we are going to break for about 15 minutes while the results of the ballots are tabulated. And as a reminder, we've got refreshments for you just outside the door to the right of the board. Great job. Thank you.